So I made a huge order on one of my favorite websites called Kukai. It's an Australian fashion brand. I found it when I lived in New Zealand and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Also, if you hear that in the background, my apartment complex is power washing the garage and my apartment is right next to that. So yeah, we have 12 items, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with shirts. I'm actually wearing a Kukai top right now. Um, I don't know which exact one this is. I only ever shop Kukai when I shop on their sale because they're kind of expensive. Um, but yeah, so this one is called the Gia Twist Top twist tank top in white. I also have it in black, so let's try those on. So this is the twist tank. I'm not wearing a bra. I'm trying these clothes on just like how I would normally wear them. I don't really wear bras very often. I may wear a bra with this one because you can see my nipples, but I, and like not necessarily the color of them, but the outline of them, but I'm weird. I like the look of nipples. I think it's cute. So this is it in white, and then this is it in black. So again super cute it just takes like a casual tank and it has this twist detail in the front it's a full back i really like this i have a very strong feeling this is about to become like my everyday crop top let's try the next one my sister is here with me so she's kind of giving me her view on things so this is the holly crop i have it in brown um, and in case you're wondering size wise, I got the largest size they have in everything. Kukai is a little bit weird. Um, they come in three sizes, zero, one, and two. They actually expanded their like size range. It used to only be a one and a two. Um, I wear anywhere from like a 10 to a 16, which I know is a huge size range, but I fluctuate quite a bit. And this top actually could fit a couple of sizes bigger because they're really thick. The thing I love about Kukai clothes, as I adjust my titties, the thing I love about Kukai clothes is one, I don't normally have to wear a bra with them, and two, they're double lined and super, super thick, high quality material. One of the bodysuits that I have, I actually wore it as a bathing suit for my birthday. So yeah, good quality stuff. This is the Holly Crop in black. And then this is it in brown. I really like it. I was very nervous about ordering the brown because I don't really wear a lot of brown. I mostly wear a lot of black, white, beige, that kind of brown. But I like that this brown has a little bit of like a purplish tint to it, so it isn't too close to my skin tone. I actually really like these crop tops and they will be getting a lot of use out of them. On to the next. Okay, so this is called the Smith Long Sleeve Crop Top and it has like this built-in shirt underneath. It's completely connected on the sides but like, hold on, let me put my tin in there. But it is a whole nother top underneath. It's just connected on the sides here, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say about this one. I just wanted something a little bit different for the fall, but I do live in Texas, so I probably won't have a reason to wear this until like almost December. Because <laughs> it's 100 degrees today, so yeah. Okay, I'm really close to the camera because I decided I'm gonna try the bodysuits on without pants, just so you guys can kind of see the situation going on in the bottom. Again, these are in the size two. I currently, this morning I weighed 169, but I had a big poop this morning, so, you know. But yeah, okay, so this is the bodysuit. It is the Aster bodysuit, it's one shoulder, but this is, I'm showing you guys without underwear on, or not underwear, without pants on, because I wanna show you guys what I'm talking about about I wore a white bodysuit as a swimsuit for my 21st birthday. I mean, this stuff is thick. I got in the ocean with my bodysuit. It was not see-through. Spencer, was my bodysuit see-through? Mm -mm. No, I mean, people genuinely thought it was a bathing suit. This is a button fly closure in the crotch and it is a thong back. My little square booty on the internet. Uh, but yeah, so this is the Aster bodysuit. I really like it. It's a ribbed material, which is really nice, and it has a little tie detail. So I think this is going to be a really cute transitional piece between spring and fall. We have another bodysuit. So this one is the Anderson bodysuit. I put pants on with this one because this one's a little bit looser. Um, I definitely probably think I could have sized down to a size one in this bodysuit just because again Like I said, I don't like to wear a bra, but this bodysuit is a bit more loose because it's supposed to just look like a Regular tank top that you don't have to worry about staying tucked into jeans It is a thong back, but this is like halfway up my back thong back. So I'm not gonna show you that one Sorry, only one square booty shot for you guys today 
but I do still really like this. Since I bought everything on sale, everything is final sale. This last section of the haul is what I'm most nervous about. It's my dresses. So if a dress does not fit and my sister doesn't want it, then I will be putting it up for sale on Poshmark. So this is the Delta open back mini dress. I don't have any Spanx on. I definitely would wear them. But the thing that I love about this dress is the back. Like, look at the back. It is so pretty. This was definitely a dress that I needed to help my sister help me get into. As you can tell, she is very tight. But the biggest thing for me is my boobs. Like my boobs are very pancaked in here. They're very tight, but I'm gonna have my sister try this dress on and kind of show you what she looks like in it. This isn't a size 240 to 42 is the way they have it sized. Um, I'm nervous about the dresses, like I said, because the dresses are stretchy, but they're not as stretchy as their regular fabric. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the Kiki Check mini dress in the size 40. I am in there. As you can see with the tatas, they are in there. And it's so annoying because I have like the most annoying lack of space here. So straps are always way too long on me. But this is the Keck Kiki Check mini dress. And then I had my sister try on the dress earlier. What size would you say you normally are? Like a four, six? I don't know, small medium. Yeah. So again, we are very different sizes, but this is what the two looks like on her. It's a lot looser. It's very pretty still though. She could definitely borrow this dress from me and it not look like it's the wrong size, if that makes sense. This dress, I really like it. It's again, it would be a Spanx option. Um, but these boobs, man, I don't even know what the back looks like. It looks back is cute though. It always like true. Yeah. I, and I'm very lucky because I have a decently small waist. Um, I just have a large fupa and large tatas. So I have two more dresses, three more dresses. Let's get started. Sorry. Forgot the name of this one. <laughs> but this is uh, another mini dress from them. Again, I forgot the name of this one already. I have zero clue where the tag is but this is made out of their normal bodysuit material which is why I like it I would wear spanks with this not even so much for my tummy line just to kind of give my body a bit more shape I don't have anything on underneath this so like no bra no shapewear no underwear nothing like that it is not see-through even in the slightest and I'm really enjoying this this is a great fall piece super excited yeah two more let's go so this is the top Hala twist mini dress. Actually, I don't even know if they consider this one a mini dress. I really like it. You can wear these on your shoulders like that. Um, it gives it a little bit more of a casual feel when you do that. The straps are twisted. Hello, the straps are twisted. I like this dress. I think that it's very flattering for me. I like black. I don't feel like I need to wear shaper with black. This is the back. The back is very high. I wonder if I need to like untwist this strap a little bit because it's tighter than this strap. But yes, now we have the final dress, this one. This dress is the reason why I made my order. This was the most expensive piece in my dress order. And I really, really hope and pray that it fits me because if this does and it looks the way I want it to look, this will be like my staple fall gown. Let's try her on. Y'all, I just, this dress, oh my goodness. I mean, if I wore a bra, I could button this button, but if I button this button without a bra, it like pulls. pulls. And it is a little tight on my arm right here, but do you ever just like accept things for fashion? Like this dress is the sex. I feel so sexy. I don't even have shapewear on yet. I don't have shapewear. Bitch, imagine me with like a push-up bra in this shit. Like this, the fact dress. That you is hilarious. This dress, ugh. this dress was ninety-two dollars on sale. It's originally two hundred and forty. I do wish that they had like one size bigger, just for honestly, like the sleeves, because this is annoying. Like this is how high I can raise my arms. Like she's small. Her. But other than that, like I think after a couple of wears, this fabric does feel like it's gonna get softer over time. So this is, and this is just like a, such a timeless, 
classic sexy dress that I think that it's not ever gonna go out of fashion. Because I feel like this dress. Yes, she keeps trying on all my clothes now. Because they're cute. This is cute. It's a little big on me. Like it, it doesn't hold my back the way it's supposed to, but I will be willing to sacrifice it to wear all of your clothes, Brayden. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so I tried it on with shapewear and I just love it so much more. 